So everything's the same as the tomato sausage, but now it's in the spicy broth. Oh, that looks good. Oops. This one's slippery. Hey everyone, it's a Mike's Report, English Corner. So today, California and most of the US is under a shelter in place. So it's probably best to stay home. Now it's tough to go out, you can still get groceries, you can still get takeout. But if you're craving some hot pot, there's going to be a solution. Heidi Lau to the rescue. A self-contained, self-cooking hot pot. You won't need your own pot or anything. Everything you need is in each pack. So we have four different flavors we're gonna to try today. This is their standard, the beef spicy hot pot. We also have a spicy sausage hot pot. We have vegetables, also spicy flavor hot pot. So for you vegetarians out there, this is an option. And a tomato flavor sweet sausage, not spicy. So which one should we try first? I'm actually gonna try the non-spicy because I'm afraid if I try the spicy one first, I won't be able to taste the rest. So let's give this one a shot. All right, here we go. Tomato flavor sweet sausage. All right, so they have some instructions here. And I think they even have some instructions on the inside. Let's check it out. Whoa, look at that. So, step one, take out the different packets, put them into the white, add some water as your soup, and then we're gonna add some water to the bottom. It's gonna start heating up, and then put the white in on top, and then cook it. Let's try it out. Ooh. Vermicelli, thin mung bean noodles. Here we go, sweet style, Chinese style sweet sausage. Wow, I'm gonna open this now because a spoon. You don't even need your own utensils. Look at this fancy chopstick. Click and it becomes a good length chopstick. And of course, napkin. Oh, and a toothpick. What else do we have? Tomato flavor hot pot seasoning. Here's the first pot that will contain the food. Here we have our pickled vegetables. And then here is the heating element. Ooh, this is gonna be very interesting. Here we go, put in the vermicelli. A really thin vermicelli. Oh, I see some lotus, some seaweed. Oh, Chinese sausage tastes so good. Now, tomato flavor seasoning. Definitely smells very tomato-y. All right, so we're gonna add water first to the fill line. It's just to make sure it's not ripped, so it looks good. And I'm gonna put it in. Okay. So. Ooh. Look, it's starting to smoke. Do you see the smoke?
wow, look at this steam coming up. So now we have to wait 15 minutes. So let me put the timer on and we'll come back when it's ready. Oh, wow, that must be, feels hot. Okay, 15 minutes are up. And even the steam starts to die down at around this time too. So, are you ready? Ooh, it's actually kind of hot. Ooh, oh, oh, look at that. Wow, look in here. So I can use their chopsticks, or since we're at home, we can use our own. So let's mix this up a little bit. vegetables. There's lotus root. That seems pretty fancy. And here's some sausage. This is the wood ear mushrooms. What else? Looks like some potato. The vermicelli. Ooh. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna try some of the vermicelli. flavors really good it's like tomato soup mmm I like it show some of this wood here nice and firm almost crispy not too soggy you know what this looks like it's a uh, bamboo yeah Crispy bamboo. Wow. This flavor is actually not bad. So I've never been to Heidi Lao the restaurant, but I have cooked their Heidi Lao soup packets at home. And the flavor is about the same as that. Hmm, let's see, type of potato. Wow. Nice and tender. I imagine most of these vegetables are probably somewhat pre-cooked and the sausage is pre-cooked. Mm, so you're really just reheating things. Ooh, how about a lotus? This is not something you see in the US every day. Mm, a little crispy. But the tomato flavor of the soup really gets into all of these vegetables. Mm, our seaweed is really tender too. So this tomato sausage pot was about $13, and I got it at the 99 Ranch here in the Bay Area. Ready for sausage? Mmm. Mmm. If you like Chinese or Taiwanese sausage, this actually has a pretty good taste. Mmm. See, a big advantage of this is it's so convenient. Everything in one pot, all you need to do is add water. You don't even need utensils. They've got utensils for you. Really good for a cold, wintry day. Mmm, nice, good tomato flavor. Mmm, all right, well, that's tomato. Let's try another one, shall we? Let's try their standard flagship flavor, beef spicy flavor. So this one, also a bag of vermicelli. Instead of sausage, you've got seasoned beef. And they tell you it's fully cooked. So all we're gonna do is heat it up. Utensils, napkins, here is the spicy hot pot flavor. Oh, this one's gonna smell really good. Bag of your vegetables and the heat. So the vegetable pack looks about the same. Lotus, potato, seaweed, and the wood ear mushroom. Seasoned beef. Ooh, this is the difference between this one and the previous one. Oh, it smells 
very, very beef. not ground beef and it's not a beef patty and now the spicy hot pot flavor. Ooh, that one smells spicy. You can tell it now there's oil, there's peppercorn. So definitely gonna have that Sichuan flavor. All right, and I'm gonna cook it, and I'm gonna eat it. See you in 15 minutes. Okay, this one's almost ready. So this spicy beef, spicy flavor, is probably gonna be pretty similar to this spicy soup base pack that we've bought before, and then had our own hot pot. So you can link to that video at the end of this, and you can see how we ate that. But this self-cooking, self-contained, everything I need is right in this kit. So, almost ready. Let's check it out. Ooh, look at all that steam. Ah, so this spicy beef, really spicy. You can see there's a lot of oil, a layer of oil on this one. Oh, it smells, it smells really good. All right, I am very curious about this beef. Corn. So if you're afraid of that numbing, numb spice, this might not be the flavor for you. This one, you can smell how spicy it is. Especially with that layer of hot oil. Definitely spicy. Mm. You might need a bowl of rice next to this one. Oh, this vermicelli. I'm almost afraid to try it because it soaks up a lot of that hot oil. Here we go. Mmm! Very spicy, very numbing. Not too much different from that soup base that I've tried in the past. Oh, but it is spicy, so you know, I'm gonna need some reinforcements. I've made some my own dipping sauce. With some vinegar, some sesame, some of the sasa sauce. I need to dip some of that to take away a little bit of the heat and also make it like a hot pot dining experience. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. So it's not quite a full hot pot at home because you don't really get to cook your own meat. But for convenience, having everything you need all in one pack, you probably take it out on picnics, on camping. Mm. You can even bring it to work if you have it for lunch. Oh, that's good. I'm just considered a high-end cup of noodles, but it's really a bowl of noodles and veggies and soup and meat and vermicelli. Oh, but this meat. Mm. Not quite like hot pot thin sliced beef. Almost more like beef noodle soup beef. Oh, but this one has a lot of heat. I need to dip it into my sauce. Mm. That's pretty good. If you like spicy, I'd recommend trying this one. The tomato one I tried first is not spicy at all. It's just kind of a tomato, sour, sort of sweet taste. This one's got a lot of flavor, a lot of heat. All right, keep going. Okay, time to continue. So, spicy sausage, Sichuan style. So this is gonna be spicy again. So each of the three pots that we've had so far are $12.99 at my local 99 Ranch Market. 
so not super cheap, but you saw that there's a lot of food inside each one. So I think this is gonna be very similar to the same spicy hot pot that we just had, but sausage for meat. All right, so while the spicy sausage pot is cooking, I'm gonna prepare the vegetarian. The vegetarian was only $8.99. So $4 cheaper if you're a vegetarian, that seems like a pretty good deal. There's no meat. Let's see if they give you more vegetables. So same vermicelli. Ooh, there's another bag of number three vegetable. Utensil, spicy. Okay, yep, see, so the same pickled vegetables. So looks like there's an extra bag of vegetables. Let's see what's in here. Now, let's see what's in this number three vegetable bag. Yep, it looks like a, another extra bag of the same vegetables. So you get almost maybe a one and a half servings of the vegetables, substituting for the meat. And this might be the same, spicy hot pot flavor. Spicy sausage. So it'll probably be a lot like the spicy beef but the only difference will be, Ooh. oh, it's beautiful. The only difference will be it's got sausage instead of the beef patties. All right. So it's gonna be about the same. Let me just see if the flavor is about the same as that spicy beef. Oh, it's hot. Oh, I'm afraid of the peppercorns. Let me uh, let me rinse those off. Because if you take a bite into one of those, <laughs> it gets pretty numby. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that flavor is really good. It is pretty spicy. So if you're afraid of spicy, you should go with the non-spicy tomato version. But yeah, that's good. Mmm. So I think the only difference between what with this one and the one just I had is just the meat style. So if you like sausage, this is your choice. If you like the beef, the other one's your choice. They're both about the same price. Hmm. Everything else tastes about the same. So I started the vegetarian one cooking. And let's see how that one tastes. Time for the vegetarian spicy. But after having the spicy sausage, I think this is gonna be pretty much the same, just a minute. But let's confirm that for you in this Mike's report. So extra vegetables. You can see it's just the same vegetables, the same spicy soup. You just get a few more vegetables in this one. So it's good for the vegetarians out there. So these definitely hit the spot as we're in our current situation of staying home to eat. So if you're craving some hot pot, spicy hot pot, this is a good choice. I think the tomato hot pot's pretty good too. So let me uh, wrap up for you. So let's uh, review all the different Heidi Lao self-cooking hot pots we had today. Tomato flavor with sausage, beef spicy, sausage spicy, and vegetarian spicy. So these three, all $12.99 at my local 99. Occasionally they'll have a little sale, so you could probably get it for maybe one or two dollars cheaper, if not more. Vegetarian was only $8.99. So no meats, but four dollars cheaper. Pretty good. Now if I'm gonna rank them, the flavor of these are all the same. So really it depends on what kind of meat you want or if you want to go vegetarian. This one is the only one that's really different in comparison. And I have to say, I kind of like this tomato flavor. So I've never been to the restaurant to try these out, but I might actually try out the tomato flavor if I ever go to the Heidi Lau restaurant. So the winner for me, tomato. So maybe they have a tomato beef. I'd be curious to see if they sell a tomato beef package. But in this case, tomato sausage. My favorite, and these are all about the same. So first place, 
tie for second place. So everybody stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, and it'll notify you for any new videos being released. And you can follow me on Instagram. See you next time.